Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. If you don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving? To give, you got to have talent and character. Alright, this is a really quick video I've been meaning to make for over a year now. In fact, ever since I made my details missed in Novigrad. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. So, several people there commented about a third outcome of the meeting with Sophronia. You know, the one where you play the Prince of Thieves and Dandelion plays the Crimson Avenger? More like the Crimson Asshole. So, I finally got around to trying it, and not only does it exist, but I also discovered a fun little detail about it, and so I'll show you all of that briefly in this video. First off, in case you don't know, this whole thing is part of the quest called Cabaret, and it becomes available at Dandelion's establishment once you free him from the Witch Hunters. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you meet Sophronia, and all the theatricality begins. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Normally, there are two outcomes. The first is where you allow yourself to be beaten by Dandelion. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside, I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! And the second is where you beat him. Go on, Dandelion! I mean, Crimson Avenger! I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? But it turns out that there's a third one as well, where you simply run away from him. And here's what happens. Uh, you're better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Turned yellow, have you? Fine. Away with you and never come back. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. And there's one more neat variation to this outcome. You see, when you start running away, the cutscene does not immediately trigger. Instead, once you move a certain distance away from Dandelion, you can hear him taunting you. Run! Run! If you value your life! And it is at this point where if you stop and decide to go back and fight him, he has a small unique response for you. Ah! Back again? Not had enough? Stand go on, Dandelion! I mean, Crimson Avenger! Ah! And one more thing I noticed only now is that you can tell Irina gave you a fake sword to fight with by the fact that it has rust on it. I don't know why, but I thought that's a really cool detail. In fact, I considered making a whole details missed video about Dandelion, but I've already talked about like 90% of these things in my other episodes. I mentioned the Hierarch's painting and all of the personal items he loses in my Novigrad video. Those halfling painters, this one of theirs? <laughs> Wonderful. I talked about all his variations during the Blood and Wine epilogue. Honorietta. Dandelion. That is, the Duchess. Dandelion. I wouldn't want... Dandelion. Anna Henrietta. She's dead. What? And so, if you're curious, you can check these out. There's a link to the full playlist down in the description. And if you would still like me to make such a video, I guess you can leave a comment and I'll consider it at some point. Nobody's gonna read that drivel. Sheesh. So with that said, I think I'm done. I will now make an attempt to finish a couple of bigger Witcher 3 videos before Cyberpunk comes out, and after that, well, we'll see. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.